Hi there, Sarah from Earth Spirit and the Witch of Nature Magic. So, just doing a video about winter solstice. Um, it is winter solstice coming up this weekend in the Southern Hemisphere, the 20th to the 23rd of June. Um, and I'm just doing a series of little short videos and things. I have been doing live videos on my Facebook page and I thought I'd just do a video for my YouTube channel. So um, this one is about the Wicca Man. So the Wicca Man is a pagan um, form of worshipping, very old. Uh, it, it can be used for different things. It's a celebration of the sun could because it's using fire because they make the wicker man and they burn the wicker man so it's a celebration of the sun a birth of the sun um, and it's used at any fire festivals so Beltane and um, because winter solstice is welcoming back the sun it is appropriate to use it for winter solstice as well because um, we're doing a fire to welcome back the sun um, so yeah that the probably Beltane is one of the good ones to use but a lot of time here in the southern hemisphere in Australia we can't use a wicker man burn a wicker man at Beltane because we often have fire bans because it's so hot here at uh, that time of year for Beltane so it's a good idea for us to use winter solstice to to have a wicker man and, and burn that so you just make a wicker man from dried grass or and tie it together with ribbons or so that it's got the little head and then the little arms and then the little legs sticking out so you just tie the grass into the sections it doesn't have to be fancy you can just do a little one or you can make a really big one if you've got the means to do that um, so the reason they did recommend it was to um, for transformation so transformation changes coming up to heal and cleanse the earth um, so that they used to put it in the center of the circle and burn it to it was like a rebirth so they they let go of all that that was all that negativity and to rebirth something new it also they believed it created a spirit messenger to connect with energies and powers that they usually couldn't had trouble reaching so it, it created a little messenger because they made it in the shape of a person and and then set it on fire it would create a spirit messenger to connect with spirit or energies or powers that they wanted to connect with gods goddesses maybe so um yeah and it, as i said it was mainly for fire festivals but with winter solstice you can um, burn a wicker man to welcome back the sun so it was about life death rebirth uh, releasing what is past transforming energies in the present and in invoking a new future so that's why they burnt it burnt the the um life-size wicker man um so releasing the past transforming energies in the present and invoking a new future to come in for the future um so they would probably make wishes for the future ask for their crops to flourish um they would probably collect a little bit of the the ash from the wicker man and spread it in on their prop properties so that their crops would grow um this is a traditional thing that they used to do with a lot of fires so when they had fires for rituals um, yeah so that's a really interesting thing that you might want to do this weekend to make a little or a large wicker man and burn it to welcome back the sun and to 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 give thanks to the cycle of life death rebirth and transformation changes healing the earth cleansing the earth healing yourself cleansing yourself um yeah just all those positive things around that so i hope you have a magic winter solstice and um blessed be take care blessings see you everyone